Hey everyone, it's John from A Comic Book Look. Just checking in with here, John aka John On Demand, aka the comic book Hugh Hefner. Stay and fly, fabulous, fashionable, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's been a while since I've done a little check-in here, and uh, we're uh, just getting the um, episodes at inveteratemediajunkies.com flowing steadily again, uh, so we're getting to work on those, uh, which is awesome. Um, and... Uh, other than that, I've just been kind of putting my feet up a little bit here. Um, so there was a little bit of out-of-order information that was provided to you. I, I did this video saying I'm not going to buy new comic books anymore. And then one of our newer episodes, I think issue 82 or 83, popped up saying, uh, of course I'm still buying comic books. Um, the Just so you know, everything is kind of out of whack right now because some of those newer episodes were actually done quite a few weeks ago, if you will. Um, and we we usually try to film them in bulk when it's not about new books, you know, obviously. Um, so that is something that is just a little bit out of line. Um, so basically what's going on with me and comics is right now I have not been picking up new books for probably the past three to four weeks, I'd say. I, you know, and it could be three. It feels like it's been forever, but that's just me. Um, and uh, I uh, am going to be taking some time off of buying new books. However, Tom has been generous enough to let me read his stacks on a weekly basis and then also read his uh, some of his collection too, which I did, and I did a lot of homework. Um, a lot of good news has been popping up here for us here at a comic book look. For, on my side of things, got a job, yay. Um, so it's two months off and got a new job, uh, pays a little bit better, and it's just a great environment, so I'm super excited about that. And I told him up front, I'm a nerd. So everybody's in the know. Um, but uh, So I'm just excited to get back on my feet. You know, Hopefully I'll be able to do a few cons this fall. Um, go to you know go to some conventions and uh, just kind of be awesome and have fun with it. So um, regardless, um, reading some of Tom's books, I actually kind of wanted to I grouped them together with I kind of borrowed intending on doing a video about them. Um, so this is actually going to be a big cluster of DC comics that I wasn't previously collecting, but I was actually pleasantly surprised overall. Um, so we'll definitely get into that. Um, and, uh, gosh, I mean, you should see the mountains over here. But I, I guess I'll just kind of start it off with kind of what's on top here. And that's going to be uh, Batman Incorporated. And I read issues 1 through 10. And then I believe there was a issue 0. Yep. And there was an issue 0 in there. So I, um, when we, when we, uh, before we film sometimes as a group, uh, we'll have a little bit of free time, you know, waiting on someone to get there, or we just need to read a book to review really quick. So I did read a few of these from Tom Stack, but never in order. I never got too much out of it, and I was always like, who's Knight? Who's Squire? Blah, blah, blah. You know, um, so getting to read this in order was extremely helpful to me as a reader, and I didn't have to wait a month in between to read them, you know, so it was, it was really good. Um, the series as a whole is just mean. It just... Uh, basically, Batman wants to take the concept of Batman and have it in multiple places. Well, of course, that does come with consequences. Issue 8 is the, you know, death of Robin or Damien. Um, so that is uh, an issue that evidently sold out rather quickly. Uh, the first printing, of course, the value of that, I imagine, will be a little bit higher, you know, as the series goes on. Whether or not he's truly dead, I think that DC might play the Marvel Advantage card, and by that I mean nobody's truly ever dead. Damien may or may not be a clone, yada, 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 um, you know, and that's all to be determined. So this is issue 10, um, up until, and so I don't know what happens after that, but... Um, I'll bug Tom and see if he has any more issues <laughs> after that. Um, I really did. I really did like the series. It was fun. It was lighthearted. It was cool to just see the various characters. And I actually did like Knight and Squire. It was a bummer that Knight kicked the bucket. As far as I know, again, this is issue 10. So if they revive him in a Lazarus pit, which was brief, um, briefly uh, referenced in one of the issues, I'll be curious to see how that turns out. Squire assumes the mantle of Knight. So cool. You know, step up to the plate, kick some ass. Um, but yeah, definitely all in all, I can see exactly why Tom would rock this. Uh, Grant Morrison does just a mean job, you know, with a group of characters. So all in all, I don't know. Uh, the, the, the Lovithian concept, if I pronounce that correctly, um, is just, it's fun. You know, Talia's mean and it was just a mean book. I, I did all these actually, I believe in one day, um, cause I've been reading over my lunch breaks and stuff and I just, I absolutely loved it. So couldn't put it down. Hats off to you, Tom. <laughs> um, up next here, more DC madness for you. What have we got here? What's going on? My stacks are 
little bit out of order. I'm rather picky. I apologize. Um, what does Tom love in life? Beer, his family, comics, and Zatanna. Jackpot. Um, I borrowed some of his. These are from, uh, I believe, 2010. Yeah. Uh, the latest run anyway, or not the latest, but the second to latest run. So it's kind of cool to get familiar with Zatanna as a character, her sidekick Mikey. Uh, magic here and there, you know, just learning that she's afraid of puppets, or was at one point, but they got that resolved in a couple of issues. Learning more about her past, her father, um, all in all a solid series. Um, it was kind of neat. I, I'd be curious to see how she interacts more so in a team environment, I suppose, like with the Justice League, like a full-on, oh my god, kind of scenario, but it was, you know, it was interesting. Um, there's an issue of Zatanna from 05, and this is the Seven Soldiers story event. Uh, not very familiar with it, so this one didn't do a whole lot for me by itself. I'm sure if I read the whole event, I'd be like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, then there was an issue of Power Girl with flaunting her chest all over the place, guest starring Zatanna, and, you know, it was just more of a a fun issue, you know, features once in a while are fun to have, so it was, it was a fun move. So all in all, it's just, this is, this is homework, this is me getting familiar, so yeah, I can see why, you know, Tom Rock was Zatanna, um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, what do we got here? Mr. Lemire, oh, Mr. Lemire, Justice League Dark, uh, this is issues 1 through 12, probably a zero in there somewhere, I'm sure, yeah, um, and, uh, this, uh, this uh this team is very hodgepodge. Uh, you got a tarot card reader, the dead man, um, uh, reality warping vest, all the you know all sorts of just everything that's weird in DC they put into one book. Um, from what I got out of this book, I actually thought I would like it a little bit more than I did, but it wasn't as bad. You know, um, Tom actually I think he might have stopped collecting it just based on the numbering, and I do remember him saying something like the art just wasn't doing it for him. I think. So don't quote me on that, because I'm not Tom and I don't want to get in trouble. Um, all in all, though, the, the one thing I was chuckling about in here is, in some of the earlier issues, Dead Man's a rather rabid horn dog, if you will. Uh, he's like, I'll just jump into this guy's body and then we can shag. And he says that to Dove, or the current Dove host, anyways, who's a chick. Um, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, on the Dove side of things, I don't really understand Hawk and Dove, because I've seen uh, interpretations where they're both dudes, so... I don't know, I, you know, I always prefer to keep an open mind on such things. Um, other than that, it just kind of, this really delves into the supernatural aspects of the DCU. Uh, Constantine's another one, always smoking. Uh, very gruff character, very straightforward. I, I don't know, if he wasn't a smoker, I'd probably, you know, grab a beer with him or something. Um, all in all, I, it was a fun issue. Um, the only other character I noticed in here... I, I and I don't if I get this wrong, but purple orchid orchid orchid. <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, she was actually in Suicide Squad as well uh, later on, and a, a real tripped up version of her. Uh, so it was just kind of fun to see her in different books. I guess I love continuity, so I'm kind of a sucker for that. Um, but yeah, all in all, very unique title. Um, it would be for some. I don't know if I would go out of my way for it, but the cast is dynamic enough that you know it's it's a fun sell. Um, so. I, you know, I'll definitely uh, keep my eye on that. If Tom has any other new ones, I'll bug him and see. So, oh my, ooh, I put some work in on this one, and Tom, oh, just doesn't get enough. Um, this is just a great series. I had fun with this one, and I am talking about Wonder Woman, uh, issue number one, all the way through issue 20, with that issue number zero in the middle there. Um, I read it all, and, um, it's a good feeling uh, at my new job. One of my coworkers is like, oh, is Brian Azzarello still writing that? So the fact that he knows this creator with this book, it's just that just made me happy. I was like, oh, I, I must be reading something amazing here. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of an idiot. I had no idea that Wonder Woman was pretty much along the same story feel realm as Xena was. I watched the whole thing of Xena, saw all the gods and stuff. Of course, different interpretations uh, were present in there. Um, Apollo assuming the throne and oh, just all sorts of weird stuff going on. I didn't know that uh, Wonder Woman had all these connections to them, and that's just straight ignorance, you guys, because Wonder Woman's a icon. So I knew who she was prior to, but now 
I kind of have gotten a better understanding of uh, kind of some of her background, and I know that this is a new rendition of her and some of the old stuff. I would be curious to check out too. So I'm betting Tom has some of that, uh, and I'll definitely uh, bug him to get more familiar with that. So I really enjoyed the series though. So it was really cool that he let me borrow those. Um, that was definitely uh, the highlight. Uh, for me. Um, the other highlight on the DC side of things here, and I only read issues one through seven, uh, because after that it was, we had a few issues missing, and I, I really wanted to read this one in its entirety too. And I'm talking about Batwoman, uh, issue number one, and then I did up through seven. So very mean book. We talk about the Lady of Water, the Weeping, the Weeping Woman, um, all sorts of, you know, magical hoo-ha going on. We got Bloody Mary on deck. Um, Batman asks, asks, um, Batwoman to join, you know, Batman Inc. at one point she turns him down, ends up having to join this other group. Uh, so it's just, it's, it's, it's a heated book, and uh, the artwork is sick. I love the paneling, and I know that we talked about this once, Tom, I made mention of it, and I scoped it out, and I was like, that's awesome. I would love to get trades of this, um, or even the singles, because it's a, it's a, it's a great read, and she's a great character, uh, Kate Kane, uh, I believe, and, uh, just, you know, the fact that, oh, you know, she's lesbian, woo, I, that doesn't even phase me, like, it, the fact that it's just a fun, dynamic book, her, side, her sidekick gets schooled and cut open and everything else, this doesn't hold back, you know, and uh, it just packs a big wall up, so I definitely have to say hats off to the creative team on Batwoman, and I'm hoping that the book stands up to this level of quality for future issues, too, because it's definitely one, when I do start collecting again, I might have to change some of my ways, if you will. Not those. St stop it. Um, but my comic book ways. So, um, so all in all, uh, on the DC side of things, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And I, I, do, I definitely do understand that. So I know I always give Tom a lot of shit on the videos and stuff, but he reads some really good stuff, and it's, it's very thoughtful, and it's, the art is extremely expressive. So I, I definitely dig that. Um, I did borrow a couple of other things here from him. I uh, caught up on some Daredevil. I read um, is up to issue 20. So I had 21 through 25 here. Uh, what isn't going on in this book? You know, Foggy possibly looking at cancer. Um, Spider-Man, who's actually superior Spider-Man now, squares off with them. Daredevil's like, oh, it's kind of him, but it's not, but it is. You know, all my senses are telling me. So basically, we just get, we see Matt Murdock just get his ass handed to him, effectively. Uh, the last issue, he va faces off against someone else with radar sense, but this person isn't actually blind, and he gets schooled towards the end of that issue. So I'd be curious to see where that turns up. But this book, again, is just so cool. It taps into the senses. Um, it makes it, it just makes it relevant, and I think that this is such a wonderful character. So I definitely uh, appreciate Tom letting me borrow this one as well. This is a side of Marvel U I have not gotten to know, but I'm glad that I did. So, cheers. Oh, what else? Um, I did read issues one through six here. Mr. Joe Harris. He retweeted. He retweeted my tweet on Twitter the, about this series. I uh, Great Pacific. I got issues one through six. Um, shout out to the giant squid who got you know ouched. I'm really sad about that actually. Um, basically, um, it's a lot of garbage in the world, right? So there's this big lot of garbage floating out there, and. Uh, uh, the main character basically wants to found it into New Texas, is what he's going for, declaring it his country. <clears throat> There's a lot of random stuff going on in here, but it was random in a great way. Um, I really, I enjoyed it. This is actually one of the first stacks that I read, so I'm a little, I'm not as fresh on it as I should be as <laughs> some of these other ones. Um, but all in all, it's just, it's fun. It doesn't hold back, and... Uh, I, I definitely can see why Tom would get a kick out of this, because there, there are some very funny moments in here, and um, I, I definitely enjoyed it. So I haven't been given beer ratings either, just because I'm talking, like, a lot of books <laughs> all at once, so it's kind of hard. But everything, everything that I did borrow, I enjoyed, so rest assured. The final one here is going to be The Dream Merchant, um, and this is issue one. This is part of Tom's poll list from last week, and... Uh, the when I first started reading it, I was like, "What in the world is going on?" But as you as you go through it, it's kind of a you find you know the main character in some peril. Um, am I dreaming? Am I awake? Am I dreaming? Am I awake? What's the process of waking up? You know all this interesting stuff. I actually had to take a step back, go back and reread a little bit of it. Um, so for me, it's a, it's a book that makes me you know think a little bit more. It's not 
continuity, so I'm not drawing references of, oh, they're mentioning Two-Face or Magneto or, you know, whatever. So this is something for me It was a little more challenging to get into um, just because I just hadn't read too much like it before. But I, um, I did kind of like, you know, the older gentleman um, who's selling amulets at the beginning and appears towards the end and is kind of the anchor of the story in terms of I'm going to show you how to handle yourself from now on on the dream plane. Uh, so it was, it was pretty cool that way. Um, as a series, I have no idea where it could go, and I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's because there's so many possibilities. Uh, so definitely good stuff. And that is it. So all in all, you guys, I read quite a few books. Uh, <laughs> um, it's a heavy bag to carry back, uh, but I'll definitely return those to Tom as soon as possible and borrow some more. Um, other than that, just uh, I'm going to start working on my X titles as well that I got from Free Comic Book Day. Get those filed away and alphabetized. You know me. Uh, and uh, other than that, we just look forward to chatting more with you guys. So drop us a line for sure. Hit me up. Um, I am at sign John on demand or at sign a comic book look, whichever you prefer. Um, a comic book look at gmail.com. Definitely drop me a line. Say hi. Uh, comment on the video. Be nice. Don't be a dick. And uh, other than that, um, hopefully you guys had a great uh, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, extra day off of work. Yay. And um, we just look forward to hearing from you. So have a great rest of your week. And you guys know the drill. Keep it comics.